after the move uh, g3, it becomes uh, clear that black has achieved uh, nothing, exchanging on e4 and playing move knight h5. So, if he now returns uh, with the knight uh, to f6, then it means uh, that the black strategy on the previous moves uh, has collapsed uh, completely. So, white has plenty of um, choices. One of them is to play knight e3, another g4 with idea knight g3, or bishop d2, preparing uh, castling uh, to the queen's side. Also, a move uh, bishop g5 is possible. After h6, white plays uh, bishop h4, and after g5, he has a very good uh, compensation for the sacrificed uh, piece, as in the game uh, Howell and Chedlishvili. So, my opponent uh, played h6 here, preventing the move knight g5 or bishop g5 uh, sometimes. And here again in this position, white has uh, plenty of uh, possibilities. One of them is knight g5, hg5, queen h5, f6, and now the move knight e3. Now you see that the square f5 is weak, also white wants uh, to play h4. And after exchange on h4, the h line will be uh, open and uh, black in g8 is very vulnerable. Another possibility is to play knight h4. If now knight f6, then uh, simple knight e3 is good and uh, the knight is going to f5. If knight f4, then g4, queen h4, f5 bishop c4, black is forced uh, to make this move in order to exchange very dangerous knight of 1. Then bishop f3, bishop f1, rook f1, and white is standing better, because g line is open, and after rook uh, g1, black can attack the pawn g7 and the black king. Also, white wants uh, to play bishop d2 and castle uh, to the queen side with advantage. Also, it is possible to play knight 3 h2, knight f6, uh, knight g4. Also, it is possible to play g4, and after exchanges on f4, knight d2, as in the previous variation. Only difference now is that black pawn is on h6, and it can be a weakening uh, for black. But in the game, I chose the fifth option and played knight e3. b5. Finally, black understands that he must uh, do something to create uh, the counterplay. So he wants uh, to play b4 and attack the pawn c3 in order to weaken my pawn structure on the queen side and making castle to the queen side less attractive for white. Knight h4, knight f6, now knight h f5. Here in this position, b4 deserved uh, the most serious attention because black should not waste any time but try to create some kind of uh, counterplay. In the game it was played knight e7, now g4. Now you see how strong white knight on f5. After exchange on f5, we take on f5 with the g pawn, then the line g will be open. And after knight g6, white is making a very strong move. Knight g2, protecting uh, the square f4. So, white pieces at this moment are playing very uh, harmonically within each other. And the move uh, bishop uh, c4 doesn't uh, give anything uh, to black, because after simple queen a3, white is ready to play h4, g5, and uh, go for attack. In the game it was uh, played knight d7, h4. If now bishop... Uh, c4, then after queen a3, knight c5, black, white has a very strong move, rook h3, and the rook from h3 is controlling the key square d3. 
So that was uh, the point after the move H4. So, so called multi-purpose move, when the move serves not only one but two or three different uh, purposes, and usually such moves are very strong. So the move H4 serves one purpose is to play rook h3 and then control the square d3 as we have just seen. Another purpose is to support advancing pawns on the king side. So we want uh, to play g5 or also we can uh, play h5. So after knight c5 we play queen f3. Here again after bishop c4 we play rook h3. If now Black plays queen d7, then we simply play h5, and then we're ready to play g5 with attack. So white is clearly standing much better. In the game, black played rook e8. The idea of this move is to make more difficult for white to play g5, because then black can take on f5, e5, and then e4 and then knight d3 check and we will see the position of the rook e8 to the king e1. So when we already improved our position uh, to the maximum we can uh, think about our king. So white now plays bishop d2 preparing castling to the queen side c6 and now important move b3 not allowing black to win the pawn on a2 and although this move uh, seems uh, to be weakening at some point but we should not be afraid to make such a move because we have achieved much more on the king side and we are ready to smash black position playing g5 h5 and so on so if now knight e7 then we simply castle to the queen side with huge advantage in the game black played a5 and after castle the best uh, defense for black would be to play queen c7 but after queen c7 g5 white is first and he should win i don't believe and nobody will believe that black can save himself here so a4 and after a4 white is winning taking the pawn on h6 even Queen a5 now doesn't work because white has intermediate move before winning the piece and also closing the position on the queen side. So the only move for black is queen b6 and now white takes on g7, a b3, knight e8, threatening to play queen f6 with mate on g7. So now time for black to take on c2 so he has to take on b a2 knight f6 king h8 and now strong move king d2 the king is moving back to the center preventing pawn a2 from uh, queening if now rook uh, d8 then white is winning after the move knight d5 and because of the threat queen f6 and uh, queen g7 mate, white is winning. So in the game it was uh, played knight f4, knight f4, e f4, queen f4, rook c4. King is moving to a safe position on e1 at this moment. If now knight e6, then queen f5 is possible. And after rook d8, white is not in a hurry and uh, playing rook a1. Although, of course, other moves were winning as well. And 
plain rook e1, white has just conducted uh, castling backwards. So you see that some moves ago white castled to the queen side and now put their pieces on original uh, places. And uh, material advantage in this position, white has an extra rook, so it decides uh, easily the outcome of the game. After queen a5, knight d5, black resigned. So I think uh, this game is very nice and also very important to understand the principles, the main principles, uh, how white can successfully conduct a direct attack on the black king castling to the queen side. In the following, in the next video clip, uh, I will be showing you more examples of uh, similar actions for white.